talk to you about, um, about prostate cancer now. Prostate cancer now strikes one in six men in North America. And if you, if you heard that statistic before, you read it somewhere, maybe you went to your doctor and you said, hey, doc, I'm a little concerned about this. What can I do to lower my risk? And even in the most well-intending physician may have said something like this. Well, we don't know what causes prostate cancer. And we don't. Uh, but, you know, eat, eat a balanced diet. And, uh, and you might have said, yeah, a balanced diet? Well, every time I open the newspaper, there's another definition of what a balanced diet is. I mean, what, what should I be eating? Well, everything in moderation. Oh, moderation. Okay. And get some exercise and make sure to drink some water and, and, and you'll, you'll be okay. And it's, you know, there's the genetics and so you can't do anything about that. And so you may not be feeling very empowered and maybe you start walking towards the door and just before you get your hand on the doorknob, the doctor says, well, as long as you're here, why don't I perform a DRE on you? And you say, oh, DRE, what's that? Digital rectal exam. Yeah, I can palpate your prostate gland and tell you if it's, if it's enlarged. And you say, well, you know, actually, I think I've got to get to an appointment. I'm going to run out the door right now. I'll call you later on that one. But even if you stayed and did that, what did that do to lessen your risk of developing prostate cancer? It didn't do anything. Yeah. So, so maybe you have lunch with a friend. Your friend says, well, what a bummer. That was an unfortunate experience. You ought to see my doctor. My doctor's really forward-thinking and stays up on the literature and I don't know, I always love going there because I learn so much. And you say, okay, I'll, I'll go see your doctor. And you go see this doctor, and the doctor says, I'm really glad you came here today because I'm concerned about prostate cancer risk. And so I've been looking at the literature in my spare time. And do you know there are 23 studies now that show that those who drink the most milk have about a doubling of their risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those who drink the least or none at all? And now he's got your attention. And you see a doubling of the risk of prostate cancer because of milk drinking? And he says, yeah, that's prostate cancer in general. But it's a quadrupling of risk of metastatic prostate cancer, the kind that kills. And now he's really got your attention. So you may turn to your doctor and say, how come I hadn't heard this before? I mean, how come no one's talking about this? And he'll say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 